I'm talking to David Barron. He's general manager of the Anchor Golf Resort. It's golf is not one of these things you associate with Cambodia. David, why did you start the resort 15 years ago? Well, yeah, we opened in 2008. So this was a former rice paddy. Um, Sir Nick Fowler, one of the, he's a British professional golfer, a former number one golfer in the world, um, designed the course here. So three years of construction, opening in 2008. And uh, since then, golf has actually gone from strength to strength in the kingdom. We have um, a growing local market, domestic golf scene now, but more so perhaps the international golf travel. So CM Reap is, is now, um, now a golf destination within itself. Some travelers will come from around the world just to play golf in Cambodia and Siem Reap, perhaps mix Phnom Penh and Siem Reap together. Um, obviously, they'll also mix in some culture whilst they're visiting Siem Reap. Right. How many golf courses are there in Siem Reap? There's three golf courses currently in Siem Reap, all within around 20 kilometers of each other. So it's a very convenient destination to come for three, four, five days golf travel. So where do your visitors come from mostly? around the globe now, to be honest. Um, we're very strong within the region. Um, Korean golfers, when it's the winter season in Korea, we're, we're very much um, inundated with Korean golfers. They're very passionate about the golf game, but all around the world, so long haul, Australia, Europe, the US, we have a lot of visitors. Um, Japan, China, all around the region, really. It's kind of changing as the years, as the years go on, but becoming very popular. Some golfers will mix destinations, so perhaps, uh, a three-point golf trip where they'll, they'll stop in Thailand, Vietnam, and now start to add on Cambodia as a third leg of their golf travel. For people in places like Japan, golf is very expensive. Is this a big attraction for, for Cambodian golf courses? Is it good value? Indeed, yes, it's, uh, it's good value. It's perhaps a slightly different experience to some of the countries where the travelers are coming in from. Um, I think we're very hosp hospitable here, the, the beautiful Khmer culture. We have a very nice team here, a very good uh, company culture. So I think that's, uh, that's passed on to the golfer. They, they have a slightly different experience when they play golf here um, as opposed to the other countries. Um, it's very friendly, very welcoming. Every golfer will have the golf cart, the caddy um, to help en enhance the guest experience. You said people can come here and learn to play golf. Is that popular? Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, golf is not the easiest of games. It sometimes takes a little bit of time to, to get started, to learn the basics. Um, so we have an excellent practice facility here on the right side is the driving range. We have a short game area. We have a complete practice hall for people to come and, and learn golf. We have um, a golf academy where coaches can do clinics, golf lessons, junior development programs. So it's a, yeah, it's a, it's a great facility to, to learn the game. And you have a staff of professional players who... Yes, we have some professional coaches um, to do the golf classes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can you tell us more about the standard of the course? Well, yeah, hopefully, as you see, it's, um, it's a world-class golf course um, designed by Sir Nick Faldo, um, a former number one player in the world, won many international tournaments around the globe, and then he developed into golf course design. So now he's designed many golf courses around the region. Um, he was actually known as a very strategic player and, and that's reflected in, in the golf course design here. It's very scenic and pretty, but um, a lot of subtle um, undulations, um, a lot of water, water features, heavy bunker in here. So Nick Fowler used to be famous for um, plotting his way around the golf course and that is reflected in this course design. Um, you need to be quite strategic, know where to land the ball, um, know the subtle breaks in the greens and um, be cautious of these big bunkers here uh, surrounding the flag. So it's a challenging course? It is a challenging golf course, yes, but we have five different tee locations. So depending on your level or experience, you can play the course a slightly shorter length or right back to the Nick Faldo tees where it's very long and challenging. Yeah. Tell me about the, this is popular with personalities, business people, who, who comes here? Yeah, over the years we, we do have, uh, we do welcome many high-profile dignitaries, uh, both um, domestic and international um, leaders of industry. Um, they, uh, they do like the golf. They do like to stop by and, and have a round from time to time. Um, perhaps we won't name any names. We'll, we'll protect their privacy. But, but yeah, golf is it's definitely gone from strength to strength in, uh, in Cambodia. You also organize two tournaments here, is that right? 
We do. We we've hosted professional and amateur tournaments for the last the last 15 years. Mm -hmm. um, we have our two main annual events, uh, amateur tournaments. So we're aiming to attract um, amateur golfers from around the world. Um, we have one in April, the Anchor Four Ball Championship. We have the um, Anchor Amateur Open every August. So just completed a few weeks ago. We had 112 players um, from 14 countries around the world playing in our Amateur Open. Um, and golf travel is also good the, in the sense of of the of the local economy. So the, these players would have stayed in Siem Reap for five days, um, enjoying the attractions, the culture, the temples, obviously, uh, staying in various hotels around the town. So golf travel is is perhaps slightly different to the to the regular tourism we might see in in Siem Reap. I would say a typical golfing group would stay a little bit longer, maybe four, five, six days in the destination. They would enjoy the golf primarily but they will, will take their time to enjoy the culture and hospitality mm -hmm. of the country. So it's, uh, it is a good driver for the economy, I believe. So do people come for the temples, then the golf, or the golf and then the temples? Good question. A, a little bit of both, I would say. There's definitely a specific golf travel market where, where these groups of golfers, men, ladies, mixed, they, they, they purely come for the golf. Mm -hmm. um, to be honest, they will choose a destination, perhaps, a new destination each year and, and hopefully then come back a repeat number of times to their favorite destinations. But yeah, golf specific travelers, they will come purely for the golf. Maybe a little bit of, of course, they will enjoy the, the surrounding destination. But then we have more of a, a cultural traveler, maybe an FIT, an independent traveler, or just a, a couple, a husband and wife, where they've come purely for the culture mm -hmm. and then realize, wow, there actually is golf course yeah, in yeah. Cambodia. and. They'll, they'll contact us and, and squeeze in a round of golf. So, right. yeah, kind of two markets, um, but obviously everybody is welcome. Do you have any plans for future development or any tournaments coming up that people should look out for? We do actually, in from the 23rd to the 28th of September, um, professional golf will be coming back to Cambodia. So the last professional golf tournament we hosted was in 2012, the, the Han de Faldo Classic which is part of the Asian Tour professional golf circuit. Mm -hmm. And we've just recently announced that um, next month we'll be hosting the inaugural Asian Development Tour Players Championship in association with the RNA. So it's, it's kind of a, a pioneering event that we'll continue to host in the years to come. But um, I think it will be invaluable for raising awareness for not only golf in the kingdom, but for the destination as a whole. Um, so we're very pleased and looking forward to, to welcoming 144 players next month and they will be staying for approximately six or seven days mm -hmm. in Siem Reap. So I'm sure you'll be hearing more about this event. What would you say to someone who thinks about golf coming here for golf but is not very sure? What would you tell them? I would tell them certainly. Um, our doors are always open. I believe you'll have an experience perhaps that you haven't had elsewhere. Um, I'm sure we will exceed your expectation. You will be probably a little bit surprised, hopefully, on the quality of the golf courses available here in Cambodia. And um, hopefully then you'll return for many years to come and bring your friends along too. Thank you very much for your time. My pleasure. Thank you. My pleasure.